Snow falls up in the mountains. That snow melts into our reservoirs. Downstream from there, we run that raw water through the plant, and that's when the treatment process begins. So where we're heading now is to where the water goes into the plant off of Fish Creek, which is essentially the start of the filtration and disinfection process. About 8,000 acre feet of water comes out of this watershed. And if you compare that to what we use, which is 3,000 acre feet, we've got plenty of water up there on an average year. This is what we call the clear well, close to the end product. And that's your final product. A lot of people take it for granted. We don't. Um, and I've tried to teach my kids the same thing, that you know that water that you're drinking, there's a process that goes, this just doesn't kind of magically appear at your tap. to launch these temperature probes and collecting data every 15 minutes allows us to see what's happening with the weather, with flow, even with reservoir releases, air temperature, and all those things, we can kind of see the changes throughout the time and the seasons. Water managers in Colorado are striving to manage the river in a more integrated way for a healthy system that not only provides for the aquatic life and the environment, but also for our own consumptive use. Just don't look down. To produce power, you need fuel, you need air, and you need the water. Coal is what heats up your water to make steam, to drive the turbine. We're a zero discharge plant. Once we bring water onto the plant site, we can't let it off the plant site. We have to capture it. We reuse water over and over again. Interestingly, the number of people it takes to run the back end of the plant for the pollution control is almost the same as the number of people in the front end for the power block and generating that. Every one of our processes are fine-tuned to get our efficiencies as high as possible. Minimize the amount of impact on the environment and maximize the amount of power that we can get out of each molecule of coal that we're burning. There are many people at the table discussing the future of water in Northwest Colorado. Watch more episodes, ask your questions, and connect to organizations managing our water at yourwatertable.org.